Hello, my name is Dark Wolf Hot, and welcome back to another video. And coming out on Tuesday is Hogwarts Legacy, so I thought it might be a bit of fun to try and guess uh, what house should I choose when it does come out. I mean, I know which one I'm going for anyway, but uh, we're going to take this quiz and we're going to find out whether we're going to be in Gryffindor. You are bold, passionate, and brave. Slytherin. You are sneaky, resourceful, and not afraid to bend the rules to your advantage. Ravenclaw, you are wise, perceptive, and quite brilliant. Or Hufflepuff, you are reserved, rational, and down to earth. So I know which one I'm going to go for. And um, just thought I'd do this for a bit of fun. Uh, so we'll start off with question one. You are making a PowerPoint presentation uh, for a class project. You. Take charge, organize everyone, and end up doing almost everything. Do as little as you can. Ah, uh, the books of group projects. Uh, pro project. I've been had a little drink today, so uh, do excuse me. Uh, but I'm not drunk. <clears throat> Just slightly overjoyed. Uh, do a little of everything. Do most of the research and writing, but let other people make it flashy. I think I'm going to pick this one because I like doing research and writing. Uh, but when it comes to PowerPoint presentation useless at it so uh we go for that one uh do you cheat in class absolutely not you try not to but sometimes it's the only way to stay afloat guess a fair amount everybody does it if you count sharing answers and helping friends who are struggling uh screw my friends they can uh do it themselves uh i'm gonna go with not cheating because i think if you cheat that doesn't prove anything to yourself or anything like that i've never cheated I think it's a waste of time if I'm to be honest. Uh, so yeah, go with that one. When you die, when you die, you hope to be wealthy enough to provide for many children in your family. Well, that's not going to happen. Have ach achieved success and travel the world. Uh, that one's not going to happen. Be surrounded by lifelong friends. That's not going to happen. Uh, have every have learned everything there is to know. I don't think that one's going to happen. Uh, I'll have to go with lifelong friends and just hope they're still alive by the time I die. Hmm. They do like to do some wrong things. But we'll see. Uh, you see a group of bullies picking on a nerd. You go up to the bullies and yell in their faces. Find a nerd afterwards and reach out to him. Sympathize with the nerd, but walk on by. think it's a little funny. So... I wouldn't involve myself because I've got my own crap to deal with. So it wouldn't be that. Find the nerd afterwards and reach out to him. No, probably not. Sympathize with the nerd, but walk on by. Or think he's a little funny. I suppose I sympathize, but I've got busier stuff to do. I've got more important stuff in my life to do, so uh, choose that. Uh, oh, okay. Wait. Which of these entertainment professions most appeal to you? Agent, screenwriter, major movie star, or entertainment lawyer? None of them. I'm not interested in any of them. But if I would have to choose one of them, I wouldn't be a major movie star. I'm not very good at entertaining people. Uh, as you've probably already found out if you watch my videos. Um, entertainment lawyer. I'm uh, not really seeing you have to read a load of books on lawyer. On being a lawyer, screenwriter, that's just too much writing. You've got to come up with something that's going to make millions of pounds, not worth it. That's screw I'll go over the agent. I don't know. How do you flirt with someone you like? You don't. You tell them straight up if you like them. Try to have a real deep conversation. You make witty jokes and smile coyly to charm the pants off them. You deliver great cheesy pickups or wink at them. But definitely not the last one. Uh, or that one. Uh. Uh, let's go real deep conversation. God knows, I have no idea. In high school, your favourite extracurricular was student government, a sports team, a student club, a debate or academic team. Well, going home and just playing computer games with my friends. Can we not have that? Would that be a student club? Let's choose student club. 
You get home from the corner store and notice you were a little under charge. You go back to the store and pay the difference. Don't worry about it. It's only a few dollars off. Uh, no, a few dollars off. A few dollars. We'll tell them next time you shop there if you ever go back. Can't believe your luck. You were a little under charge. Ah, oh, screw it. Don't worry. There's no point worrying. Why would you go back? Is it? It's only a couple of dollars. Or, proper money, a couple of pounds. Eh, no worries. Your idea of a worthwhile summer vacation is hanging out and catching up with friends back home, parachuting or diving off the cliffs of the Acapulco, uh, curling up with a good book on the porch, summer school. Um, I do enjoy reading, but I enjoy hanging out with friends, uh, getting drunk. Uh, I'm probably hanging out with friends. You hear that a girl in your class just switched to writing the same essay topic you've been working on since September. You make an appointment with the professor and slip in how you came up with the idea first. Resent her from afar, but say nothing. Don't care. Your good work will speak for itself. Confront her. Yeah, just confront her. Slap that bitch down. Hmm. How do you get your time alone when you want it? Uh, tell your friends it's reflection time and retreat to your room. Cancel a movie date with friends. Disappear for long periods without a word. Do errands or go for a drive. I just disappear usually. Just easier. Uh, turn off the phone. Nobody can ever contact you. Uh, when planning a group trip, you are the one who worries most about travel plans and lodging. You probably take the responsibility to plan if you can. Nope. Let others worry about destination logistics. You're along for a royal ride. Follow the leader and cast your foot when needed. You're on a trip to relax, not stress. Recommend some planning. You're the backup leader. Uh, let's go for the second one, I think. Submit. Oh, who will be? Take this short survey to see your result. But hopefully, if I'm still sober enough, this will be cut. Right, so hopefully, now we're back. Uh, Hufflepuff. No fucking thank you. I'm not going to be in Hufflepuff. So the house that I've chosen for myself is Ravenclaw. Now, the reason I chose Ravenclaw is because, obviously, Gryffindor and Slytherin, that's the one everybody always goes for because those are too popular. Nobody really likes Hufflepuff. And I'm going Ravenclaw because I never hear anybody talk about it. So, um... That will be the one for me. So hopefully, if you're picking up next week, uh, please tell me what house you plan on going in or anything like that. And I hope you enjoy the game. So I will be hopefully live streaming it on Tuesday, if all goes well. But we'll uh, wait and see. And uh, this is the end of the video. I have been Dark Wolf Hot. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.